Somchenkoi. Please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. Now, the lawyer for the civil parties, you may resume your examination. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, before I continue, uh, I would like to ask uh, for your advice uh, as for the time remain for the lead co lawyers for the civil parties. Um, I would like to know how much time uh, we have left uh, for us to put the questions to the witness. Uh, Madam Lawyer for the Civil Party, please be advised that you have uh, 30 more minutes left. Please, um, Reina. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, before we broke uh, of Monsieur this Dumas, afternoon, I uh, now want to turn a little bit back to the uh, construction of the Pengtmo Dam because it is uh, relevant. Uh, I do not want to go back and forth, but uh, I would like to ask you uh, further on the uh, people who actually uh, decided on the construction of the uh, Tropeng Tmor Dam, uh, who made that decision for the construction? Okay. Res response. Response. I did not uh, attend the meeting, but I heard from others that in the construction of the dam was not the decision at the uh, sector level. It was the decision from the zone and the uh, uh, higher level. So that was not actually the decision of the sector. This is to my knowledge. Question. So, um, at the time, what was the plan? When was the construction supposed to commence and when uh, was it supposed to be completed? Response. As far as we knew at the time, uh, the project had to be completed within the year, but uh, whether there would be any obstacles or so, we had to see. But uh, in the actual constructions, it was uh, begun uh, from Tavals until Rin, and it was not fully completed, uh, but the majority of the construction was complete, uh, but then it was uh, broken by flood water, and it was not totally completed. Question. So when the plan was handed down, uh, who received the direct instruction uh, to oversee the construction of the dam? La construction du barrage. Response. 
The instruction was from the upper echelon, and then the uh, and then Taval was the commanders who supervised the construction. And generally, there were people from the zone uh, coming to inspect the constructions and monitors the progress made at the construction work site. Question. Just now you said that there were people from the uh, zone uh, on the constructions. How often did they come to the uh, work site? Response. For the sector level, they came uh, rather often. Uh, when we were building the dams, we saw them uh, two or three times per month. Question. And Question. subsequently, uh, did they come suite, regularly to until uh, the, the time when uh, Vietnamese uh, troops uh, came in? Is that correct? Des exact? Response. According to my observation, earlier observé, on, they uh, came to uh, inspect uh, and uh, 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 toward the Later dates, uh, they also came, and they actually went to work uh, with the laborers and workers uh, together. Thank you. Question. Now I would like to talk about the implementation of the plan of uh, the dam construction. People who were brought to build the uh, dam, uh, where were they from? Were they from the villages? Or they were only those who were in the rank of the armies who were sent to build this dam? Response. As for the workers, uh, they were recruited from the districts. Uh, they use uh, from the village, and then uh, there was no soldiers uh, mixed up with the workers in the constructions, but they recruited youth and people from the district uh, to work at the site. Question. Uh, were there any evacuees from Phnom Penh working there? Response. To my uh, observations, there were many evacuees from Phnom Penh too. There were more uh, people from Phnom Penh than the base people. Thank you. Question. About the Phnom Penh evacuees uh, who were sent to work at the dam, uh, did they or were they required to work together with the base people or they had to work uh, with, uh, in a different workstation? Response. They were mixed up uh, with the base people and they worked all together. There was no segregation, separation of them. Question. In relation to the work, uh, when they first uh, arrived at the work site, uh, how many kinds of work were they supposed to do? Uh, how did they uh, divide the, the, the work over there? The president, uh, witness, please hold on until the microphone is activated before you respond to the question. Response. When the workers arrived, uh, first, people who had to prepare the holes and others were in charge of preparing the earth carrying basket as well as some uh, lace and other uh, tools. So, if we, if for example, uh, the hole or basket were broken or so, people will have to will have to mend it. Question. So 
what was the overall condition of work uh, at the time for example the working hours uh, and the uh, scope of work uh, that uh, each worker had to complete at the times so how did they divide uh, the task among workers response they had to start work uh, at 7 in the morning until sometime 11:30 and then uh, at noon times it is from 1 until 5 p.m. Question. How about the task assigned to workers? How did they um, assign the task to workers? Response. They actually divided in uh, by quotas, like two uh, cubic meters of uh, soil to uh, carry. Uh, and if they work in the groups, uh, that is multiplied by the numbers of group members. And sometimes uh, those who could not uh, complete uh, the quota for the days, uh, they would ask other people uh, to help. Uh, as well. Question. So you are saying that uh, there are 30 members in the unit or group, and then each person is supposed to uh, complete two cubic meters of us per day. So within these two cubic meters of uh, us, uh, According to your observation, do uh, do you know that uh, they could do it without the assistance from others? Did you observe in general uh, if they could uh, complete it uh, within the day? Response. Response. Uh, Earlier on, uh, they could not do it, and they had to uh, continue until uh, the evening. Those who could not complete it, they had to continue working until they uh, completed it. Uh, but as they got used to it, then they could uh, accomplish the task. Question, how about those who could not uh, uh, do it as per the quota imposed? Was there any sanction or punishment imposed against those who uh, did not complete the task assigned? Response. For the first, second times, they would be invited to um, uh, to hear the comments, and then they make uh, effort uh, to complete it. But uh, those who could not complete it, we could see it, and then after lunch, uh, they had to continue uh, to complete it. As for the punishment or so, I did not know because I was not working um, uh, with, with uh, the workers uh, back then. <laughs> Question. Probably I uh, do not understand uh, the point very well. Of course, uh, you have a quota uh, to complete within the day. Those who could not complete it, they would continue until uh, in the evening. Was that considered a punishment uh, for tardiness in the work uh, because they could not complete it for the day? Was that constituted a punishment for, for, for them? Response. Yes, it was uh, a sanction or punishment uh, if they could not uh, complete it um, as uh, said, uh, then uh, they would have to continue uh, to uh, complete it. But those who were weak uh, and they uh, received uh, helps from others. So Generally, it was uh, that punishment that they had to complete uh, this uh, quota. Question. Did you ever hear or see uh, people working there and uh, they could not uh, cope with uh, the work and then they collapse or they die because of the hard labor over there? Did you ever 
witness uh, that instance response. I never saw anybody die while working over there, but uh, I saw uh, some people who uh, fell down. I actually saw that by my own eyes, uh, that some uh, just fell down when they were working. Thank you. Question. Did you ever hear uh, from the people uh, that uh, if they, for example, broke uh, the hole or uh, the us uh, carrying basket, uh, they were alleged of uh, being a traitor. Uh, did you ever hear that? People, did you ever hear people talk about that? Response. I heard it uh, from some people who came to um, receive uh, the rice when it was uh, distributed, but I did not pay uh, that much attention uh, to that. I, I got uh, some acquaintant uh, at the times uh, who actually talk about that. I only heard uh, that actually from some of them. Thank you. Question. So when people were working in the construction site, did uh, the workers' uh, biography, um, did the biographies of workers were taken at the time? Est-ce que l'on dressait leur biographie, celle des travailleurs? Response uh, to my knowledge. As for the biography, for example, if they uh, had to recruit uh, people or any person had any problems, they would take the biography. Uh, they uh, did not uh, have all the biographies of all people's work in the brigade units because there were tens of thousands of, tens of, thousands of uh, uh, workers. Question. I, I have a, a question. Can you ex, uh, ex, explain us a, a little more on why they needed biography from the workers? Response. It is my understanding uh, the biography was to uh, get the information uh, from individual person, particularly the background of that person, whether or not that person received any education or they were from this family or that family. Uh, uh, so they uh, prepared this uh, biography because they wanted to know the backgrounds of all uh, workers. Question. Why did they want to know these uh, particulars uh, as to where they were from, which well village they were from, and whether or not they were from a uh, wealthy family or poor uh, peasant? Response, that I do not know. It was very difficult to comment on the motive of this. Because in any uh, society or any administration, uh, when uh, they suspected of anybody, they would have to conduct some uh, research on the background of the person. So it depended on what they wanted. I did not know what they wanted or what they, what intention uh, they had, but I think that they wanted to know whether or not they were from a uh, wealthy family or their family backgrounds and education background or so. Thank you. Question. Did you ever hear or uh, notice uh, that some workers working in the construction site uh, disappeared? Response. 
Yes, um, there were cases of disappearance of workers, but as to where they took them to and how uh, they disappeared, uh, that I did not know. Thank you. Questions. Were there many disappearances among uh, the people there? Response. It was uh, rather difficult to answer uh, because at that time, if it was within my unit, uh, I would know it. But since I worked separately, I uh, was responsible for distributing rice uh, for them. So I only knew some information and not a complete uh, story. Thank you. Now I would like to turn to you yourself, um, Mr. Witness. If you were assigned uh, the task and you could not accomplish that task, so what uh, do you think uh, would happen uh, to you uh, based on your experience at the time? Response. Yes, I uh, had uh, come across uh, that I was uh, required to carry yes, us up to eight uh, cubic meters, uh, and I had to do it uh, day and night. And at the time, I I uh, kept uh, the uh, the 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 earth that we I have just uh, dug up and carried, and so at that times I manipulated it a bit uh, so that when they came to measure the uh, quantity of work I I, I did, uh, then uh, I met the requirement. So actually, uh, if we were required to complete a cubic meters, uh, even if we had to start at as early as three o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock uh, at night, we could not accomplish it. Accomplish it. So uh, I had to uh, learn how to uh, do that in order to uh, meet the quota requirement. Thank you. This is uh, important to us. So I would like to ask you uh, a little more about your superior, uh, Taval. Uh, earlier, um, the prosecutor uh, asked you about the Mount, the Samad, the Chil, uh, and the construction of the dam and other supervisors, uh, Ta Hung, and a few others until uh, the Vietnamese uh, troop came. Uh, so if they could not... Uh, complete uh, the task uh, that was assigned by their superiors, uh, would there be anything happen to them if they could not complete, accomplish the task? To my knowledge, um, during the rainy seasons, uh, we encounter some difficulties. For example, when we had to carry the earth, it was not that easy. Um, and they had to postpone uh, the work uh, sometimes. For example, one unit uh, was uh, redeployed to work on the uh, repairing uh, the uh, damage uh, them or so. Um, so there were some uh, impediments to the construction of this work size. Uh, one reason was uh, because of the rain, uh, and the other reason was the uh, the workforce actually was not uh, as strong uh, as uh, in the early days and some of them were sick. Uh, that is my uh, observation. Thank you. So let me um, try to get your points. Uh, Taval and other leaders, including uh, Tarin, and they could not uh, complete uh, the construction site. So was this uh, m the reasons uh, for their disappearance or not, to your knowledge? Thank you. 
response. Réponse. I was not sure uh, of the reason for Je their disappearance. I don't know whether or not it was because of si the failure to accomplish uh, the project or not. I, I cannot uh, comment on it. And I only knew uh, that uh, those people who were supervising uh, on the construction site uh, over there uh, all disappeared. Questions. Uh, I just want to ask you so that I am uh, clear uh, with your testimony. So you saying that uh, the work uh, carried out by Taval, Taran, and others were uh, the work delegated by uh, the upper echelon. In other words, uh, they received the instruction uh, from the, their upper echelon, and uh, they had to report to their upper echelon. So whatever they did, the upper echelon was uh, informed. Is that correct? Response. Uh, yes, uh, that that is it uh, to my knowledge. Uh, there was no such information uh, disseminated uh, clearly uh, at the time to the uh, people down below the line. Uh, but of course, uh, when the working uh, procedures in our lower level as well, we had to keep our superior form of what we of what we did. Thank you. In relation to this uh, Trapangtmo uh, dam work site, were there any children working there? Response. Uh, there were uh, children because uh, I uh, was in charge of distributing uh, rice uh, at that time, and children uh, ration was uh, less than uh, that of adult. So as for the work uh, quota for them, I did not know, but of course there were uh, children over there. And as for the distribution of rice, the adult would get three cans of rice. As for children, they would get only two cans of rice. Uh, how about the uh, work allocation for the uh, small children? Uh, how, how did they divide? The response. It was um, difficult. It is. I do not have the exact answer. I could not say that they had, you know, one meter, what cubic meters, or 1.5 cubic meters of um, earth uh, to be. Uh, carried uh, that I did not know, because uh, you may have uh, other witness who will be in a better position to explain that, because I was mainly in charge of distributing rice. Uh, I did not monitor the work site uh, myself. Uh, questions. How about the uh, children uh, who were working uh, in the work site? Uh, can you tell the court as to their age range, uh, how old were they, um, and how many of them uh, altogether, to your knowledge? Response. To my estimation, actually it happened long time ago, I may uh, not recall it perfectly well, uh, but in my estimation, uh, there could have been around 600 to 1,000 uh, children in that uh, mobile brigade. And as for the age range, uh, there were some uh, were, uh, seven years old. Uh, there were less from 7 to 11, but uh, from 11 to 15 or 16, there were a lot more. Question. 
How about the uh, pregnant uh, women? Uh, were there any uh, pregnant women at the Trapentmore construction work site? Response. In the sector's uh, mobile brigade, uh, there were no uh, pregnant women. Even those who were married, uh, the ladies who were married were not actually accepted uh, to work at the uh, work site uh, or, at the, or else they would uh, be assigned to grow uh, vegetables and uh, food staff uh, to supply uh, to them instead. Thank you. So just a point of uh, clarification uh, for you so that uh, we are clear. Uh, there were no pregnant women in the dam site, but were there any pregnant women at all uh, over there anyway? Just To my knowledge, when we talk about women, we refer to those who uh, were married. And if there were women, there were only a minority uh, of them. But I did not know that very well because I was not responsible for uh, that. Uh, I was responsible for distributing uh, rice uh, to them. And there were some who. Uh, uh, some time came from the cooperative and joins, and other from the uh, here to join the cooperative. So I did not. See. So you said that there were only a minority uh, numbers of uh, women uh, over there. So what was the task allocation for women? Did they have to carry uh, soil as well, uh, uh, like uh, men too? Yeah. Uh, so you have to make a distinction between the female workers and women. When you, you refer to women, you refer to married women. And the majority of the uh, women there were female workers. And of course, they received the same work quota, for instance, two and a half a cubic meter each. But I do not have a uh, figure for the number of children working on site. Question. Question. Still uh, on the Trapiantmore Dam, have you heard of a, a slogan that in order to make the bridge strong, females had to be killed at the sluice of the bridge so that the bridge can sustain. Did you hear such a saying during the regime? Du, du pont du barrage. Uh, and uh, I can tell you only what I heard. However, what you have said is not something that I heard of at the time. And for that reason, I cannot tell you whether this thing happened. President Councilor Copper, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, not necessarily an objection, but I didn't quite hear it well um, in the translation. But, um, I would like to ask Council if that's all right, uh, where this is coming from. This, this saying, I, I don't think I've heard it before. Uh, uh, thank you, Council. Merci, Maître. The saying that I uh, quoted Le slogan was que je from de the closing order. Et dans and that's de clôture. why I put it to the witness whether Et he knows je about this. Posé la question au and I actually have uh, some more questions. And they are based on paragraphs in the closing order. Sont fondés sur des paragraphs Thank de you. De Merci. President, Le President. 
Uh, lawyer for civil parties, how Maître. many more questions you have? Actually, Combien your 30 minute time allocation uh, runs out. Votre uh, lawyer, I have two more questions, uh, Mr. President. Sisrina, il me President, deux questions. you may proceed then. Le Président, veuillez continuer. Question. Maître. Mr. Witness, have you heard or knew about uh, pregnant women who were killed and dropped into the Terpentement Reservoir? And second, were people killed and dropped into the Terpentement uh, Reservoir in order to support the belief that the bridges uh, would be firm. President, Councilor Consumon, you had a floor. thank you. I do not object to this question. However, the lawyer for civil parties please provide the actual paragraph numbers of the closing uh, order de that you refer to. Donner les paragraphes de l'ordonnance de clôture qu'elles sont ici. I can actually assist because I we found uh, the saying but it's not a saying it's uh, pas un slogan. it's coming from a witness. C'est un témoin um, cited in the closing order là et qui a été cité dans l'ordonnance de clôture. Uh, footnote note 1452 paragraph 1452 Paragraph 349. Um, and it's a witness who says, I think, that he or she heard something from the CPK cadre. I don't, so I'm not sure it's saying, as suggested by counsel. Parties, Mr. President, the relevant paragraph in the uh, closing order le président, le is uh, paragraph 349 in the Khmer language. And, Mr. President, I'd like uh, Mr. President, to direct the witness Monsieur to respond to my question. De au de President, question. The witness, le please respond to, the last, uh, to that question. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez répondre à la dernière question posée par la partie civile. Witness, le témoin. Do you ask me whether I have heard or seen Vous m'avez demandé uh, si j'ai entendu the parler ou si j'ai vu but personally I que vous avez don't. décrit. Ce n'est pas le cas. I never heard about pregnant women being killed and dropped into the reservoir. Des femmes enceintes et que l'on and of course, I knew about uh, some dates there on site. J'ai entendu but parler not what you described. Or maybe it happened, but I was not told. Peut-être cela s'est-il produit, mais on ne m'en a pas parlé. here comes my last question to you. Maître Tisserina. Je vais maintenant vous poser ma dernière question. That is question. in relation to uh, what happened at the Trepentement Dam work site since you lived and worked there. Au barrage de Trepentement. Vous, vous avez travaillé là, vous viviez là. What was the physical condition vous of workers de at the dam work site? Were they emaciated? Were they healthy looking? Avait-il l'air en santé? Était-il euh, maigre? President, Defense Council Copper, do you have the floor? La parole est à Maître Copper. Um, I object to Maître the way Copper. the question is phrased. Je me pose sur la façon uh, dont l'avocat a posé la question. Uh, say something intelligently about the physical conditions of 10,000 to 15,000 workers. If the question is limited de to people de that he knew or saw, uh, then uh, I wouldn't have any problem with it, but asking the physical conditions of all workers is something beyond uh, the realm of knowledge of this witness. Ce n'est pas de la connaissance de ce témoin. Lawyer for civil party, allow me to rephrase la my civile. question. Permettez-moi, Monsieur le Président, de reformuler uh, ma question. Mr. Witness, the workers that you saw at the work site, 
That is, uh, those workers at uh, the uh, sites that you actually went to, chantier, là où vous étiez. what was their physical condition? Décrire leur état physique. Was the physical condition the same for uh, a particular site or were they are in the same physical conditions across the, the sites uh, that you went to? La même chose. Et était, la situation était-elle la même là où vous étiez and que dans uh, d'autres endroits où vous êtes allé? For mobile unit workers, and Réponse. this is from my Pour personal observation, des unités some mobiles, of them were emaciated. Personnel, certains étaient and usually, yeah, they became emaciated during Et the rainy season. And uh, during pluie, such season, food ration was pluie, reduced. On avait réduit. La, and uh, they did not have adequate uh, sleep at et night et uh, as a result of a uh, rain. À this is my personal nuit. understanding. De la pluie. For that reason, they uh, became skinnier. C'est mon opinion, et c'est pourquoi ils sont devenus plus maigres. Question. Question. Were many of them uh, emaciated during such a period? Est-ce que beaucoup des travailleurs étaient rachitiques Answer. à cette époque They became emaciated Réponse. during the time that food ration was uh, reduced and la I uh, de can say that about uh, half of them je peux that a 50% of them became emaciated sont devenus très maigres for the reasons that I mentioned pour les namely reduction of food ration and uh, lack of sleep. Et ils ne dormaient pas assez. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness and Mr. Mr. President. I am done témoin, with Monsieur this witness and I like to see the floor terminé, to my international colleague, la parole uh, President. Uh, Thank international. you. Le président. Merci. President Councillor Kong Sam On, you had the floor. Mr. Kong Sam On, you have the floor. Kong Sam On, thank you, Mr. Mr. President. I'd like Merci, to uh, uh, respond to the reference he made to paragraph 349 of the closing order. J'ai quelque chose à dire à propos de ce paragraphe 349 de l'ordre de clôture. Reading, the closing order doesn't say that that is a saying or a slogan of uh, Ankar. Il s'agit d'un slogan de l'Ankar. That in order to reinforce uh, the bridge, uh, people had to be killed. No, it was just a statement pont, from a witness. Il fallait tuer des gens. C'était une you. simple déclaration de témoin. President, the chamber would like now to hand the floor to the defense team for Nguyen Chia. La chambre souhaite laisser la parole à la défense de Nguyen Chia. And I notice that the judge Lavain wants to have the floor. You may proceed, the judge. Vous avez la parole, Monsieur le juge. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. J'aurais quelques questions à poser à ce témoin. Monsieur le témoin, j'ai compris que après le 17 avril 1975, vous avez été envoyé dans les villages en tant que milicien. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous préciser euh, quel était exactement votre rôle en tant que milicien As a militiaman, we were instructed to uh, watch over uh, the people because after the uh, Lunar regime was defeated, Après la défaite du they are uh, concerned that uh, some de Lonol, people would not. Uh, agree with the uh, regime's policies. For that reason, we were instructed to monitor Donc, their activities at the first point. And secondly, we were uh, asked to be on uh, patrol up and down Et for no particular reason. Uh, as the people motif. had been gathered up in Et certain locations. Quelles étaient les méthodes employées pour surveiller les gens What were the methods 
employed vous to monitor people? Les gens? How did you go about monitoring people? Like to say that uh, at that time the militia à did not receive any specific instruction as to eavesdrop on those people. Uh, what the instruction was that uh, we had to be vigilant for those people who just uh, had been. Uh, Liberated uh, as a result of the defeat of the Lunar London. And as I said uh, later on, I was no longer a militiaman. Comme je l'ai dit, à part la suite, j'ai cessé d'être militiaire. Donc, si je comprends bien, vous les surveillez sans so les écouter. So, if I understand you correctly, you monitor them without listening to them. Man, man. No, we did not uh, eavesdrop on them. We tried to observe whether anyone wanted uh, to engage in any rebellious activity. If there was a case, then we would have to report to the upper echelon. And as I said, people had been secreted and placed uh, at a, a certain fixed location. Les gens avaient été rassemblés et mis dans un endroit précis. Et les gens, quand vous demandez de surveiller, est-ce qu'ils étaient ciblés Est-ce que c'était plutôt des gens du 17 avril ou est-ce que c'était des gens du peuple de base Upon the end of the war, there was no distinction between the Après old guerre, and the new people. Anyone who uh, opposed the, the new regime would be brought to the attention of the regime. regime uh, However, in the area rapportées. that I lived, uh, there was no apparent rebellious uh, activity at all. We were instructed uh, to observe if uh, there was on any such activity, and if there was, then we had to report to them. Activité, le cas échéant, en faire rapport. Est-ce qu'il y avait des consignes particulières s'agissant des Vietnamiens, des personnes d'origine vietnamienne, regarding the Vietnamese, that is, people of Vietnamese origin? Allez, pro, rum, tuntien Vietnam, eh? No, I did not have anything to do non. with the uh, Vietnamese. Mm, As I said, I was a low-ranking uh, person. I did not know any uh, policy or anything to do bas. with the uh, Vietnamese. Et, uh, that would be the matter uh, to be uh, dealt with je by the upper level. Vis -vis des I was bien just a uh, low-rank militiaman, and I did militia not uh, give or receive any instruction regarding the Vietnamese. Aucune instruction au sujet des Vietnamese. Et vous n'avez aucune idée de ce qu'était la politique vis-à-vis -vis des Vietnamiens. And you have no idea as to what was the policy vis-à-vis des Vietnamiens. Is that the case? Man, c'est ma opinion. Yes, that is the case. During the regime, I did not know anything about that. Je ne savais rien de I cela sous was never called to attend any meeting on this matter. Si quelqu'un s'opposait à l'action de la révolution, if someone objected est -ce que to the action of the revolution, est-ce qu'on procédait à l'arrestation de cette personne? A fault, et éventuellement qui décidait des arrestations arrested and if so who gave instructions for such persons to be arrested or who arrested them the it is my understanding that uh, at that time the administrative structure of the commune or the district was not yet put in place 
et des districts n'avaient pas pas encore été mis And en place. For that reason, certain cadres would control donc, certain areas. Certains cadres And if someone opposed or was alleged to oppose the regime, the person would be handed over to the uh, military. Cette personne était ensuite transférée ou était remise dans les mains des militaires. Mais qui, qui concrètement procédait à l'arrestation et à la remise à des militaires? Who, in concrete terms, carried out the arrests of such persons and handed them to the soldiers. Where such an issue occurred, the soldiers would uh, go to the area, to that location. At that time, endroit. nobody had any weapon besides the soldiers. Personne n'avait d'armes à part les soldats à l'époque. Bien, on a entendu beaucoup de témoins qui étaient soldats qui ont dit que c'était les miliciens qui procédaient aux arrestations. Maintenant, on entend un militien qui nous dit que ce sont les soldats qui procédaient aux arrestations. Bien, je pense qu'on en passera. On va passer à un autre sujet. Vous, euh, vous est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si euh, ceux qui avaient le pouvoir de procéder aux arrestations, est-ce qu'il y a eu des changements Est-ce que ça a été toujours les mêmes personnes ou est-ce qu'il y a eu des modifications dans la politique en ce qui concerne le pouvoir de décider l'arrestation de personnes qui ont commis des fautes on the issue of arrest and or killing à propos des arrestations ou des exécutions only in 1978 i heard uh, from the meeting at the uh, chief of the mobile units who said that lower cadres did not have the authority to kill anyone. And only the decision to kill someone could only be made by the center. And I heard about this in 1978. Donc jusqu'en 1978, so, up until qui concrètement avait le pouvoir de décider de l'arrestation et éventuellement de l'exécution d'une personne considérée comme ayant commis des fautes C'était au niveau de la, euh, du village, de la commune, du district, village, du, district commune, du secteur, du district, du secteur qui, qui exactly was in charge of that. The message that, I, uh, that was delivered during the meeting was that Ce qui a été dit lors de la réunion, it was only the center who had the authority le on the decision to uh, de kill anyone. De tuer qui que ce soit. And Authority at the, the village or commune levels que les did not have the right to make that decision. Pas le droit de prendre une telle décision. Donc, avant 1978, les so autorités du village ou de la commune pouvaient décider de procéder à des exécutions. Est-ce que c'est ce qu'on doit comprendre? To carry out executions, is that what I should understand from your testimony? We have to think about this all together. Nous devons y réfléchir It tous might ensemble. be possible that those uh, cadres made their own decision to kill people. Des and that's why later on there was uh, this uh, directive from the center prohibiting them to kill in 1978. 
Donc quand vous dites le centre à partir de 1978, ça désigne qui le centre C'est les autorités du district C'est les autorités régionales Qui est-ce Si vous pouvez me donner un nom, ça serait encore mieux. If you can give us a name, that would be even better. It is difficult uh, to define the center or a low a level below the center. Le it is my understanding. Uh, the word center refers to those who were at the top level. Le centre, But ceux qui personally, I did niveau. not know who they were. Mais je ne les connaissais pas personnellement. Je ne savais pas qui ils étaient. Est-ce que, par exemple, Yechem, c'était pour vous, c'était le centre Was Yechem someone who could be considered as operating at the level of the center Ante Yechem, que. No, Yechem was district uh, committee. C'était le comité de district. Was not at the level of the center. Il n'était pas au niveau du centre. The level of the center was at the top hierarchy. C'était le l'échelon suprême. It is not possible for Yechem to operate at the level of the center. Possible pour Yechem. She worked only at the district level. Travaillait au niveau du centre car elle travaillait au niveau du district. Alors, j'aimerais que vous m'expliquiez ce que vous avez voulu dire dans vos déclarations à la cote E127-1.6. Et c'est la question-réponse numéro 24. C'est votre audition. Donc, vous expliquez qu'effectivement, à partir de 1978, il y a un changement dans la pratique. Mais vous dites ceci. Mais en pratique... L'instruction, donc l'instruction donnée en 1978, n'aurait pas été appliquée, étant donné que certaines personnes ont été exécutées sans faire rapport au niveau régional. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous avez voulu dire par là Et est-ce que ce sont des choses dont vous avez été le témoin The thing is this, and allow me to give you an example. Laissez-moi vous donner un exemple. Uh, one was the chief of a group. Il y avait une personne qui était chef d'un groupe. Group chief could not make any Ce decision without de going through the village chief. Pas prendre des décisions sans passer par le chef And village. whether such adherence to the principle of chain of command uh, Donc, was uh, carried out, I cannot tell je you. Vous dire si les gens ont respecté, uh, la chaîne so de I cannot tell you whether, despite the directive from the upper echelon, the si lower level uh, would adhere to it, implement it, si or stop the killing. I cannot tell you that. De la suivre, de la mettre en œuvre et d'arrêter les exécutions, je ne peux pas vous dire si c'était le cas. Monsieur, quand je lis vos déclarations, vous dites certaines witness, personnes ont été exécutées sans faire rapport au niveau régional. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous savez Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous avez été témoin Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez vu Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler Non, 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 non. Witness it personally. Je n'en ai pas été témoin. However, uh, some people may uh, knew, may know about it. Mais certaines personnes pourraient en être au courant. Very well. Bien, lorsque euh, vous étiez en charge de procéder à la distribution du riz, est-ce que vous aviez également dans vos attributions la Did distribution de vêtements Also include the distribution of clothing. Were you in charge of the logistics? Were you in charge of the logistics? Was it just simply to the distribution of the rice, or was it going beyond that? Logistics. Did such logistics include only the distribution of rice, or they went beyond that? Man, come on. I did not 
distribute uh, the clothes. However, when the, there was a need uh, for clothes for uh, various units, Lorsque des unités avaient they besoin would de make such a request in writing to me. Une demande écrite, elle me la remettait. Then I would uh, forward it to moi, the sector commerce, and then the product uh, or the clothes commerce. will be brought in for distribution. Et ces vêtements étaient envoyés pour être distribués. Et on distribuait combien de fois par an des vêtements? And how many times per year were clothes uh, distributed? It's not that uh, regular, depending si on the demand. Fréquence, de la demand. For instance, uh, for a five-month period, exemple, some workers uh, had their mois, clothes torn, for instance, then they had to replace uh, with a new clothes. Déchiré, there was no set a period that new clothes had to be given to, to workers. Pour la so a request had to be made, then it would be forwarded to the sector faite, commerce. Elle était transférée au, à la section du commerce du secteur, ou au secteur du commerce. Yeah. J'ai compris que vous assuriez la distribution I du riz auprès des unités mobiles. Est-ce que vous assuriez également la distribution du riz aux personnes qui étaient détenues dans des centres de sécurité Est-ce que c'était à la même époque et à ce moment-là sous les ordres de qui étiez-vous I was under the supervision of Tarun. J'étais sous les ordres de Tarun. Donc, quand vous distribuez so, du riz you aux unités mobiles, vous distribuez units, également du riz auprès des centres de sécurité. Quels étaient ces centers. centres de sécurité so what were these security centers? Uh, While well, I was uh, in charge of uh, rice distribution, Quand the security de, de center uh, I refer to I refer Les to the one at the Phnom Trayong Mountain Security Center. The rice had to be distributed to those people who were breaking rocks at that uh, center pour ceux qui cassaient des roches à ce centre de sécurité. Non Trayon, c'était simplement non, un endroit où les gens cassaient de la roche, ou bien c'était aussi un endroit où les gens étaient exécutés Or was that also a place where people were executed? Non, quand... The... The security people working there. Il y avait des gens and I cannot tell you about uh, any execution as I personally did not witness it. Car je What I can tell témoin. you is that a security uh, force uh, was there and uh, workers from mobile uh, unit were there to break rocks. Combien de personnes travaillaient ou étaient détenues à Phnom Trayon et jusqu'à quand avez-vous procédé à la distribution de riz là-bas Defense Council, uh, you have the floor. Vous avez la parole, maître. Merci, Monsieur le Président. You, je President. suis un petit peu troublé parce que je n'ai pas l'impression que le centre de sécurité auquel nous faisons référence, enfin, auquel nous, sur lequel M. Le Lavergne interroge, fait partie de, uh, uh, notre, uh, de, la, de votre saisine. Donc, uh, je n'ai pas besoin de précision parce que je ne peux pas faire d'objection, au moins qu'on puisse m'éclairer. Il me semble avoir entendu dire 
I la preuve du témoin qu'il avait, the witness à la même époque, il y avait then, uh, des distributions de riz qui étaient faites auprès des unités mobiles. Il me semble que les unités mobiles avaient travaillé sur le barrage de Trapentma. J'essaye de comprendre simplement quelle était l'organisation de son travail au moment où il était en charge de la distribution de riz à toutes les unités mobiles. Donc, monsieur le témoin, je crois que vous avez so, commencé witness, à répondre. Est-ce que vous pouvez terminer votre answering. réponse so, could you please, um, finish your answer? Man, chapi. Witness. It was from the time that I distributed the rice to them and that uh, continued until the arrival of the uh, Vietnamese. And uh, if my recollection is right, there were about 600 of them. Merci. Je n'aurai pas d'autres questions. Thank Je crois que j'ai largement épuisé mon temps. Uh, no further questions. I think I have uh, used up my time. Thank you, Chancellor Vange. It is now appropriate for today's uh, adjournment. We will adjourn the proceedings now and resume on Monday, 17 August 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And on next Monday, we will continue to hear testimony of the current witness, Chajir. Common hearing testimony of another Et witness that is to TCW eight two eight. And Mr. Chetjuk, the, the Chamber Chetier. is uh, thankful of your testimony. However, it is not yet uh, concluded. For that reason, you are invited to return uh, to this court again on Monday, 17 August 2015, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. And court officer, uh, please collaborate with Wisi, uh, with Wisu to make necessary uh, arrangement to transport this witness to uh, his uh, to where he stayed and have him return to attend the April proceedings on Monday next week. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, so that is Nunji and Kizun Pon, back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings on Monday, 17 August 2015, before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned. Audience élevée.